Welcome to Video Marketing Secrets, Simple Strategies for Outrageous ROI, a podcast by The Draw Shop. Here, you will learn the most creative and cutting-edge video marketing strategies to help you attract, nurture, and convert your ideal customers throughout your entire sales funnel. I'm your host, Summer Felix Mulder. Please join me for this newest episode. When you think about video marketing, what comes to mind first? Promoting the heck out of each video you create for maximum ROI? Getting as many views on your video content as humanly possible? Or maybe even going viral so your message can touch thousands, ideally millions of people? And all of those things are part of video marketing for sure. But what if I told you that you also want to produce videos that only one person will ever get to see? And more than that, that those kinds of videos are key to your business success. Now, you might say, Summer, why would I produce video content that doesn't scale? Sounds like a waste of time, to be honest. Excellent question. And before I can answer that, we need to examine the number one problem with marketing today. I'm sure you've heard other entrepreneurs complain that marketing doesn't work well. It doesn't do the same as it used to. Some say that people hate being marketed and sold to now more than ever before. I get it. We hear that all the time, right? Others might even go so far as saying marketing is dead. But why do you think that is? Well, here's my theory. Customers have stopped responding to the same tired generic tactics and messages that most brands use. They've become experts at sniffing out lazy marketing and sales, and they simply aren't having it anymore. Let's think about yourself. Have you done this yourself? (laughs) When you see certain ads pop up, when you see certain brochures, aren't you just kind of like, oh my gosh, I've heard this a billion times. And it's not that people have suddenly become allergic to being marketed and sold to in any way. We haven't. If you have a problem that needs to be solved, if you're communicated to in the right way, you're going to pay attention. But people just simply don't like it when companies treat them as numbers on a spreadsheet as faceless leads to be converted, or as ATMs giving out cash if you just, quote unquote, do the thing. And honestly, who can blame them? Of course, customers want to be treated as individuals, right? We want to be treated as individuals. And of course, they want to be seen, they want to be heard, they want to be understood. But sadly, that kind of personalized attention is in very short supply in modern marketing and sales. Have you noticed this? So, This is exactly why we need bespoke videos that don't scale. Your customers and clients are actually fed up with generic messages. I mean, they're like fed up. They're just scroll past. This is annoying. Sometimes people even go as far as commenting on an ad or something they see to be like another ad, another, you know, and they're just saying something that's totally negative because they're fed up. What they want is for you to make the effort and communicate specifically with them as an individual. They are hungry for personalized nurturing and you can deliver it to them with short form videos made specially for them. Sure, they may not scale, but they do make an unforgettable impression. And even a single video like that can outshine hundreds of generic messages your prospects see every single day. So if this piques your interest and you're like, okay, I need to do this, If you want to implement personalized nurturing videos in your business, I'm going to share some of my favorites with you. These are going to be my top three types of videos that totally hit the mark on what I just explained. And they're not in any particular order. They're just like the top three that I am a big super fan of. And I know that they make a difference in your business and how you communicate with your audience, that individual person. So the first one I'm going to talk about, video voicemails. So successful marketing often comes down to consistent, effective follow-up, right? Your messages don't always reach prospects right away, or they don't lead to immediate action. People are busy, and even if they were super interested, they get busy, they get distracted, they forget Something's going on and they don't take action right away. So it often takes multiple impressions to get the response that you're looking for. And as essential as they are, follow-up messages often come across as mechanical or cookie cutter, right? They're awkward as heck to write. And sometimes they're just embarrassing to even receive them. And sometimes it's also like, 
oh my gosh, I think I left this person hanging for six weeks. Oops, did I really do that? So video voicemails almost feel like cheating because they banish all that awkwardness with one simple change. And it's just reintroducing the human element into the interaction. When your prospect can see you and hear you talking, rather than just read a dry email script you've copy-pasted a hundred times, it feels so much more human and authentic, and they become so much more likely to remember who you are, and they're likely to respond. So what can you do with a video voicemail? Like I said before, they work wonders for your follow-up, right? But here's some other ways that you can use them. You can reactivate leads and prospects who fell through the cracks in your pipeline, So you can ultimately close more sales. You can send this via email. You can send it via text if you have the permission to do so from them. Video voicemails will consistently get more engagement than a normal follow-up. And this is something that I'm implementing more and more of because I know it works and it takes just a quick few seconds. You can also use video voicemails to ping existing customers and clients that you haven't heard from in a while. And it just keeps that relationship alive. And honestly, those are the type of customers when they see that you're going through that effort and making that personal connection, they become your customers for life because they feel that you care. Another way to use these video voicemails is to send reminders or follow-up questions after a call. You know, like, hey, it was so great talking to you. Just a reminder, I'm going to have this in your inbox or I'm going to get this uh, proposal out to you tomorrow or just I'm super excited to get to be working with you. This is going to be the beginning of a great relationship. You can also use it to share useful info and resources. Hey, you know, we were talking about this tool on the phone. I'm just going to pop that link in here. And also just a you know quick hello. Hope you have the great rest of the week. And uh, I've got that tool linked below. And this also gives you the opportunity to really inject some warmth and personality into the interactions with your prospects. I would imagine that if you received a video voicemail from someone that you were doing business with or potentially doing business with, it's definitely going to push you closer to that trust with them because they've gone out of their way to make that personal connection with you. Okay. Number two, personalized demos. So One of the most powerful things that you can do during a sales process is to show your product or service in action. Now, yes, you can have a complete demo that just shows, here's what we do, here's how it's done. But if it appears that everyone is just getting the same one, there's not going to be that same personal connection. So if you can do a personalized demo of how this can help that particular person, It might be the same process, but when you can plug them in and show them specifics about how it's going to make their life better, oh my gosh, you've just connected with them so much more deeply. This is why we have sales calls, right? Explainer videos, public demos, and all sorts of other nifty strategies. But sometimes your prospect stumps you with a question that's too small for a sales call or a full demo. But it might also be too technical to explain in an email. So if you could just show them, then they're going to be like, oh, wow, they actually took the time to see how this could help me. So if you are like, for example, if you're a software entrepreneur, B2B, you're selling B2B, you probably know this pain very, very well. And this is where that personalized demo comes in. So they're just short videos. You can do it on Loom where you're just sharing your screen and maybe it's a little bubble of your head in the corner. It doesn't have to be long, but it's just something where you or you know your salesperson can record something for that specific prospect in response to what their question is. Or if it's something that you thought of last minute, oh, like, hey, I just wanted to share this with you. Or maybe you do it even before a phone call. You know, really excited to talk to you about blah, 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 blah. I'm taking a look at your site. This is what I see that we can do. It's just showing that you care. You're taking that extra effort. And when people feel taken care of, oh, it's such a good feeling, such a good feeling. So these can be like a hybrid. It could also be your voice. If you're not wanting to be on camera, it could be your voice. And then you're sharing a screen. I would suggest though, having just a little hybrid of your, a little bubble of you up in the corner and doing some type of a screencast. Again, I do these on Loom all the time, loom.com. And they're great. Super easy. Renders the video right away. Pop over the link and bam. So these type videos, these demos are really a fantastic tool that actually accomplishes three things at once. If you think about it, 
So they showcase the specific features of your offer. And it's in a show, don't tell type of way, right? Which is always infinitely more effective than any text or audio explanation. And it really is so fast to record and send. I mean, I do this all the time, even if it's not with a prospect, I'll do this with my team. It's so much faster to just record a quick video of, hey, I have a question on this or that. You just talk it out. You pull up the screen of what you're talking about and they just get it. And you save yourself a meeting. I think Loom actually even says something like that on their site. That's, you just saved the X amount of meetings or congratulations, you just saved another meeting like right after you record your video. By the way, I am not an affiliate of Loom or anything, but I got to share it with you because it's a tool that I use all the time. Okay, so the other thing. So I said that it accomplishes three things at once. So yes, it's that show, don't tell. Instead of having to tell them something, you can actually show them while talking it out. The second one is that it makes the sales process feel more human and authentic, which when you're going back and forth on follow-up emails or direct messages or texting, sometimes that can get lost. So this allows you to feel more connected to your prospect. And the most important thing, the third thing that it accomplishes is that a personalized demo signals to your prospect that you really care about the relationship to take the valuable time out of your day to answer their questions thoroughly. And that's something you just can't do with pre-made demos or FAQs. There is value for pre-made demos. There is value for FAQs. But once you've now connected with that person to take it further and really personalize it, it's a game changer. And then finally, my third favorite, welcome videos. So one of the most underrated marketing strategies is just simply being nice, you know, like thanking a buyer for their purchase or welcoming a new client to your community. Small gestures like these can be extremely meaningful when they're done right. And the problem is when we're operating at scale, it's hard not to treat these pleasantries as just another checkbox to tick. So just stick the words thank you on the purchase confirmation email. Surely that will be enough. No. It's not enough. It's not enough. Instead of like a generic, impersonal welcome email or copy, your new buyers, if they're receiving a short and sweet video where it's either you or a member of your team thanks them by name for their order, like actual personally, like, hey, Joe, thank you so much. So excited to work with you. We're going to have a great time. That's it. And you just Oh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I mean, that's it. That's all it has to be. So those are the top three that I really, really like. Think about this. What if somebody who subscribed to your monthly offer got to watch a special welcome video, once again, greeted them by name and showed them the next steps to get started? right? Like if it's a monthly, whatever your offer is, but they just purchased your offer. What if through these little videos, you can now make your new customers and clients feel genuinely personally valued and seen instead of feeling like a number on a spreadsheet? We will do this at, you know, at the comfort level of different team members, but that's what we will do at different phases of our projects with clients. We're hopping on a quick video. We're talking about what the next steps are. If we're reviewing some copy or anything, we're just going to quickly do a video and walk through, hey, here's what we just sent over to you. Here's what we're looking for. And it doesn't take a long time at all. It's so easy to do. It honestly... The way I see it is that this strategy is like so simple and sometimes it's the most simple strategies that are the most effective. They're also the ones that like nobody is doing it. And I think honestly, the reason people don't do it is because they're thinking, well, it doesn't scale. And I've been I've been saying those words a lot. It doesn't scale. It doesn't scale. But the aspect of not scaling very well is really what makes this strategy so powerful and meaningful. And the thing is, is that when people do crave genuine interactions, they want to be treated like actual human beings, like real people. And even though I'm saying it doesn't scale, it doesn't scale. The thing is, is that it totally increases your bottom line. If the end goal is to make more money, and if the end, if the desire is to attract more of the type of clients that you love working with. Well, these, when you do this and you form that relationship and connection with your clients, they are going to tell like-minded potential clients how great the experience was. And then you've got people coming in who are already excited to work with you. 
And that's what we want more of, right? You can implement this whether you have just a handful of paying clients or thousands of customers. Like honestly, even companies like the size of Warby Parker have used thank you videos successfully and you totally can too. It's literally seconds. It's like less than a minute to send and they will notice it. Your customers will notice it and they will appreciate it. So that's it. It, It's short, it's simple, but these three types of personalized nurturing videos are all different, but they share one trait in common besides the fact that they take a bit of time and effort up front. It's really not that much though. They break the monotony of distant and personal marketing that expects deep engagement from prospects, but refuses to give the same. It's so powerful. I mean, the thing is, is that marketing that hides behind automation, sure, we all have automation. We need it, right? You need automation in order to scale. But marketing that is just strictly automation and hides behind the automation, checkout flow, sales pages, autoresponders, and countless other tools, it doesn't allow for that interaction. And, you know, yes, it can make the business easier. It can make the process easier on the consumer, but you don't want to avoid interacting with your customers and your clients. So by taking the time and making the effort to put together a video that is just for them, and you send a powerful message that says something, you know, simple, saying you are seen, you are valued, and this company will do its very best in creating a really amazing relationship with you and getting you results. I mean, that's huge. That is huge. That alone will help you stand out and convert more customers. And I hope you can see that. I hope you implement it. It's very simple strategies, but uh, send it, mean it when you send it, and you will see the results. Thanks for listening. Video Marketing Secrets Podcast is brought to you by The Draw Shop. To learn more about The Draw Shop and how we can help your business grow through the power of video, visit thedrawshop.com slash secret. Be sure to search for Video Marketing Secrets on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, or anywhere else you get your podcasts. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. On behalf of the team here at The Draw Shop, thank you for listening.